Well, for one thing, I, I hope that al Baghdadi watches these press conferences because I want him to know that we are hunting him uh, and that we will find him. Uh, just like we found his mentor, Zarqawi, and killed him. Just like we found the grand master of terrorism, Osama bin Laden, we killed him. Uh, we are going to find Baghdadi, uh, and we, he will taste justice. I don't know if that justice will look like a Hellfire missile or if it'll look like a, a dark prison cell somewhere, but he will find justice one day. And, and so, you know, the situation for the people in Palmyra uh, has probably not going to improve that much. They're still, they went from being under the, the boot heel of ISIL to being under the boot heel of Bashar al-Assad. And I'm not sure that that's much of an improvement for those poor people in Palmyra. We have not seen any significant combat power or significant pieces of equipment or significant capabilities uh, come in uh, for the Russians. There's a, as there is in, in, with any you know, force that's forward deployed, there's a continuous flow back and forth of everything, presumably from mail to spare parts to resupplies to you know, replacement personnel, et cetera. But there haven't been any significant uh, you know, plus ups of combat power or of capabilities. How do we reduce recruiting? Well, locally, you know, that really is, is happening on its own, right? As people realize uh, that ISIL does not really offer uh, what they claim to offer, uh, there's a much lower propensity for people to want to join them. You know, if, if you watch uh, ISIL propaganda or read their ridiculous magazine, uh, you would think that ISIL is a land of, of sunshine and rainbows where there's unicorns, you know, being ridden by leprechauns and everyone's happy. But then when you show up here, uh, you realize that it's closer to hell on earth, right? It's apocalyptic.